everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers the viewers and the world out there today we're looking into aries weekly guidance message for june 13th through june 19th and in this message aries we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you this week we're going to see what's challenging you and where this is headed if you stay in this energy I'm going to clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Aries, let's see what we can see for your upcoming energy here for this week. Most important message here for Aries spirit. What do my Aries friends need to know? Aries. In the present energy, I feel like you're presenting your energy as very secure, very stable, knows exactly what it is that you want. Okay. The sun with the king of swords. I feel like you're very straightforward when it comes to what you want with people. Okay. And I honestly feel here, Aries, that you know what exactly it is that you're looking for. The challenge that I see here that's coming out in the reading, is there's somebody here from your past that you keep an eye on, you keep looking back on, and um, maybe not even reaching out, just reminiscing on what, a, what if, what if we would have got our things together, what if we would have tried to make this work. I definitely feel like there are a lot of illusions surrounding that past situation it's very unclear exactly what transpired but i definitely feel like this is presenting in the energy as a loss as a significant loss as if um maybe somebody left without telling you or even abandoned you when you felt like they shouldn't have left okay i do feel like this is currently something that you should be working through now i'm not i'm just a messenger so i'm just delivering a message um and to whoever needs to hear it but i honestly feel whoever is resonating with this energy where this is headed is kind of blocked kind of stagnant when it comes to relationships now you're still going to move forward when it comes to goals, when it comes to business, when it comes to finance, but when it gets to that night time, when you're relaxing in your bed, it's going to feel really lonely. And that's most likely when you look back on this past situation. So let's clarify the energy before we pull some advice. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is appreciated and it does help with the growth of the channel. So thank you guys so much for that. We're going to clarify the sun, the page of swords with the king of swords first for Aries energy. Now I will say Aries, that past connection was a significant connection. So it's understandable why that's something that you may still compare things to. But I honestly feel here, Aries, it's important to understand um, that situation was a lesson learned. And if that person is meant to be in your life, they will come back around. But you can't hold, put everything else on hold just for one person. Sun, the page of swords with the king of swords
One thing that'll help you work through this energy with the Eight of Cups coming out. When you're looking back on this past situation, thinking about what if, try and look into what happened. What happened there? How did that connection break down? Right? Maybe you don't know. Maybe this wasn't expressed, right? Your person didn't tell you this. They didn't communicate why they left. You can still see signs, you know, like maybe they're not exactly telling you what exactly it is that you did. But if you think back on the situation, any time that there was a disagreement, there was an argument, what caused the negative emotion, right? Better yet, what lesson can you learn from this person so this doesn't transpire into a future connection? It's also going to be important, Aries, to get clear within yourself on what exactly you need in general to make a connection work. Like what are your absolute do's and what are your absolute don'ts? Like what will make you walk away and what are things that maybe you can mm, look past? And it's not to say that you're going to communicate that with somebody, but it's definitely important to communicate those absolute no's to the other person that you're going to be meeting. And the only reason why I feel this is coming up here, Aries, is because there's a new connection right around the corner. Somebody new is coming in. But if you're still holding on to this past connection, it's definitely going to block that energy. I feel like this new person that's coming in is going to be some somebody who is more stable more secure and in better alignment with your future partner. Ten of Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles. So you're going to have a decision to make. This is beautiful. This is beautiful, Aries. The star is on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So finding that internal balance is going to be important here. This is going to be an important part of your healing journey. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice moving forward here, Aries, in this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you're in my area, Kennewick, Washington State, you should come check us out. We're down at the Kennewick Public Market. I'll be there all summer, every single weekend. So come check us out. Again, it's the Kennewick Public Market. In Kennewick, I will be with Lotus of the Moon. It's like a little marketplace where there's a whole bunch of shops. So fun, fun, fun. So Aries, Judgment, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Cups in the reverse with the Magician in the reverse. It's time to free yourself from this past situation. No more confusion, no more uncertainty. I do feel there was a, there was a specific reason why this past situation had broken down okay if you sit down and really think about it i feel like you know why some of you may not even have to think about it really just processing that past situation so taking like one day where you have just time for yourself to just sit there and ruminate over that situation and think about it and decipher it and write it out on a piece of paper and find out also look into the positive aspects of that relationship. What were the positive things that you enjoyed with that person? And what were the negative things that you didn't like so much? Okay. Again, your do's and your don'ts when it comes to relationship. You have to get clear on what this Ten of Pentacles looks like to you. So this is a stable, solid, secure relationship. This is like financial stability, financial security. But if you look in this it's like generational wealth, you have family there surrounding each other. So this is really talking about longevity, talking about being with a particular person for the long run. You have to get clear on what this looks like. What does it look like five, 10 years down the road when you're with this person long term? 
because relationships do go through phases, it's not going to stay the same. So you have to get clear on what it is that you truly want your life to look like. And then don't accept anything less into your energy. The magician in the reverse tells me that you may be trying to have a little bit too much control over the situation and this can symbolize other things but in this context i feel here aries that this is universal energy okay and what i feel is coming out with this card is by right now while trying to have too much control over the relationship aspect of your life instead of just processing the past situation and seeing what comes in you know trying to move forward just trying to move forward when you're in that energy when you're in that space it's resistance and when we resist that's like a blockage in the energy in the flow the universal flow of life and i know that sounds so esoteric but it's true if you let the if you can let the energy flow if you can let life flow and let things flow blessings abound it's when we hold on it's when we try to control and even i'm speaking from personal experience even myself there's been times where i've tried to control the situation the outcome and couldn't this is the universe trying to tell you to let go of control it's time to let go of control it's time to focus on getting clear not only about that past situation and letting that go but also clear on what your future looks like and moving forward in that positive direction taking action on that but it's going to be important before you go out and look for your future partner it's going to be important to get clear on what that future position is going to entail, what it's going to look like. Once you're clear on what that looks like, you'll be surprised. You'll be amazed on how quickly the universe delivers what exactly it is that you want. It's manifestation. Manifestation 101, guys. I'm just breaking it down and not, I'm not telling you what it is directly. I break it down tell you the steps in the reading so soul truth energy am i focused on what i am losing or what i'm gaining are you going through some change are you scared to let go because of what you might lose what if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain endings are actually new beginnings today's soul action Today, make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. Fill your heart, take a breath, and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.